gear haul. It's not all of her gear, but it's a little bit of a few extra things. So anyways, before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's joining us today. If you're interested in following either of us on Instagram, Faraby is Faraby underscore Fable. I am knit in the zone. And don't forget to hit subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. So let's get started. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> we just got back from our uh, grocery shopping trip, so she's super calm right now. So we're gonna start with the very first vest that she ever got, and it was this one. Um, this is a cheapy little Amazon vest, but honestly, we still use it every day for her to go for a walk. Um, it didn't come with these patches. It came with in-training patches, which um, we don't use it on this anymore because we use it for, like I said, if we're on a walk. But this is the first vest we had ever gotten in. It's super light. Um, I know people make fun of Amazon vests, but really this is a super nice little starter vest. Um, it's just mesh right here. It's actually mesh through the whole entire thing, but it's held up really well. Um, I think we got this last September and she wasn't wearing it, you know, really religiously then. It was just more for you know, just training, playing around, just for her to get used to a vest. But it's held up really good. Um, some of the Velcro is peeling off right here a little bit, but you know, you could easily stitch that back on. It's not a big deal. And I think it was like $12 or something. Um, this webbing stuff has held up really well. Um, this is not meant to like lead your dog by it. So I don't really know why they put these kind of things on here, but you could hook something to it, I guess. But it's a really good little vest. Um, so yeah, that's the first one. Oh, and then the patches. So both of these patches are from Amazon. So this one is just um, service dog, do not separate dog from handler. And this one is a PTSD service dog, do not distract patch. Um, to be honest, I don't love having the PTSD patches. I didn't know whenever I first got PTSD patches that I didn't like that, but I've had a few incidences where people have come up to me and been like, oh, I have PTSD too. And then it's just kind of awkward if they don't have a dog with them because then you're just kind of like, you know, are you, it's just weird. It basically makes me feel like, are they, I don't know, it's just weird because you don't know where to go with that. It's like, it's just awkward. I don't know, I don't know how to explain that. But anyway, so that's her first vest. Um, her second vest, this is a One Tigress. I think it's the Apollo 9 or Apollo 09, possibly, that's what it's called. It doesn't say which one it is. But I love this vest. Um, we did get the long version. They make a short version as well. You leaving? Okay. She's over it already. They do make a short version as well. Um, we have the long version. This is her, what I call her winter vest because it is pretty thick. Um, it does have like mesh stuff right here, but it's not like, that one's like see-through mesh. This is just like, you know, a layer of mesh. Um, this one's a lot thicker. Fairby has a lot of hair, so, you know, obviously that's uh, kind of a, a thing. Um, but, so the cool thing with this, all of the one tigress vests seem to have a lot of Velcro. So this whole entire side is Velcro, this whole entire thing is Velcro, and this whole entire side is Velcro. And then it also comes with like a little padding thing, which I don't use, that can go right here. Um, but you could put a patch on it too because it's kind of, it's not Velcro, but it's kind of like a texture where you could stick something to it if you wanted to. So I like that. Um, these places right here are snaps, so you could use it as a cape rather than a vest. Okay, so this part would be removable um, if you wanted to take it off, so you could have it as a cape instead it does have some handles for or some uh d-rings right here i'm not really sure what that's for um i don't know i guess you could put a um like a guide handle on it maybe this wouldn't be for guide work but maybe for like um what's it called like grounding or something like that so you probably could do that or maybe put and i don't know that for sure because i don't have that type of stuff for her so i'm not sure where those go but i kind of feel like maybe that could be used for that um, but also, you know, whatever, you can hook stuff to it, which I really like. 
and then they make backpack accessories that go with this so it's really cool um so they actually have like i don't know if it's backpacks it's pack accessories so you can like hook it through here and then it has big pockets too which we have stuff in our pockets but it has really nice sized pockets in here um but in hers we just had a couple of 88 cards and then we have a few of her um, stickers with information for her instagram if people are like asking a lot of questions and stuff i am not one to be rude if you watch my q a video then you know that i'm not one to like sit there and like be like no you can't talk to my dog but what i do usually do is if it's more than like a question or two i will hand someone one of her cards um, or her stickers that have her Instagram handle on it because I have a lot of information on service dogs there and that way someone can go, you know, read through. Um, also on there, I have stuff about how it's rude to distract a service dog. So it's kind of like low key, like go read while you're rude, um, but not really. But these are her current stickers. It's just her little face and it just has her Instagram. I post on there a lot about like um, not distracting service dogs and how to act around service dogs and stuff. And also just information, you know, like cute stuff with her and stuff. And a lot of people, for some reason, want to take her picture, which is kind of weird, honestly. Like, I've never just seen something walking down the road and been like, oh my God, I need a picture. But that happens to us. It happened twice yesterday, I think. It didn't happen at all the day that I know of, but I don't know that someone wasn't taking a picture, but no one called us out and asked. Basically, it happens multiple times a week. People will stop and be like, oh my God, I need to have a picture of her. Oh my God, I need a picture. And so depending on the kind of mood I'm in, sometimes I'll hand them that sticker and be like, here, this is a picture of her, but if you want one with her sunglasses on, because that's the thing, people want the sunglass picture or the boots on her. So I'll hand them a card and be like, here, there's tons of great pictures on there. You're welcome to go, you know, grab whatever you like off of there. Like, basically, I don't care. Like, do whatever, just leave us alone. <laughs> so anyway, long story. Um, but then the other side of her, uh, this vest has another pocket and then I keep um, disinfectant wipes in there. Um, we've never had to use those. They're brand new, never been open, but anyway. Um, so the patches I have on here, we are not using this right now, so it's kind of like a patch holder for now. Um, but it comes with this really cool Velcro patch that is a clear window, so you can put stuff in there. Um, I just keep ADA law cards, and then behind that, I have something that says, service poodle in training, do not distract, that I just printed off my computer. Um, just because it is a clear window, and you might as well have something. But I keep ADA law cards in the front usually um and then this is not a service dog patch but it's just a cute patch that says not all those who wander are lost and it has a compass and like some mountains and a moon yeah it's just really cute and then uh this is a we are a team forever patch i think i got this on amazon this is super common patch you can find it anywhere there's people who make them on etsy you can find them on amazon a few different colors but that's the one we have so this is the second vest. Then the next vest, these are ones that I have made. So I'll start out with this one because it's on top. Um, and this is the first, I think this is the first one I made. So it's a little bit, it has a point right here, which no one would notice if I didn't point that out, but I know. Um, this is actually my favorite shape of a vest. So I'm trying to like, like this one is the same, but anyway. Yeah, so it just has two pockets, so pockets on each side, and then two Velcro places for patches. So this one is service dog, no touch, no talk, no eye contact. This is my favorite style of a patch, just something super simple where it says do not distract. And then this is the same patch that's on the purple vest, um, just service dog, do not separate from handler. And then once again, there's pockets over here. Um, and like I said, this is kind of a saddle shape vest. Um, the inside is just pink. And then this part, I don't know if you can tell, but it's bluebirds and flowers. And it's just super, super, or blue jays. Blue jays and flowers. It's really cute, I love it. Um, and then the straps are purple glitter. So I really like that. And this is the same style of vest, like exactly, except for I didn't make a 
jacked up point here. Um, so same exact thing. This was her 4th of July vest and then um, it had obviously patches on it, but it's put up for now. So I just brought it to show you guys, but it's the exact same style. It just has red, white, and blue straps on it and then red detail, white Velcro, and then it's gray on the inside, but it's the exact same like style as this. It's just a really small little vest and I like that style. So I made another one and I have fabric to make, I think two more, so that. And then this is the last vest I have to show you. So this is the one she wore today and this is the only one that has Velcro on the back other than her one tiger's vest. So this is the one we're currently using most. Um, it's a little bit long on the sides for her it needs to be maybe about a half inch shorter on the sides. It fits her fine, but it's just, it goes like right, I don't know if you can see her, but it goes right to like the top of her arms. So it's not really too long, but it's like, it would be a little bit better if it was a little bit shorter. So anyway, um, this fabric is just white with purple, um, purple flowers, pink flowers, some little tiny blue flowers green leaves and stuff, super cute. Um, so this only has one pocket, which if you're making a vest, I highly advise against doing one pocket on the side. Do one on both sides. Don't just do one on one side because it makes it unbalanced, which makes sense, but I didn't think about that. So anyway, so on this vest, I have her Patience and Love Service Dog Patch. This is my favorite patch in a lot of ways, okay? I love the colors of it. The only thing I don't love is a five by five. I ordered a five by five. I kind of wish it was a four by four because this is huge. And I wanted a big, 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 big patch. I really did, but it's just almost too big to go on her vest. So um, this I think is a three by three or maybe a four by four. I don't know, I'm gonna show you one in a minute. But I love this patch. It is really super, super well done. Um, but it says, uh, it has just the symbols. So no touch, no talk, no eye contact, no photos. Um, ignore me, I'm working. It's not nice to stare. And it has another no staring or no eye contact symbol. Um, and then I also have a leash wrap that goes with this, but it's in my car because it's on my crossbody leash, which I should have brought, but I didn't. Um, so anyway, so that. And then the other patch I have over here is in training. Please give us room to grow. Really pretty patch. Just if you order from this place, make sure that you communicate exactly what you want. Um, I'm not, and also be prepared to wait a little while because I don't know that she says that on her shop. She may have updated it since then, but just be prepared to wait, you know, a few extra um, weeks basically. Back to the vest. So, Cute fabric, obviously I like it, I made it. Um, and then it just has a green liner inside. This one I made a, uh, here. this one I just made a strap the same color because it doesn't need to move. So I just made it the same fabric as this, which this was the first one I tried like this. You know, probably the last one I do that way because this was kind of a pain because um, I had to flip that inside out and that's not my favorite thing. And then this part is just pink ribbon. Now, her vests are never to be like leading her by or anything. So this is simply to like, you know, keep it on her. Um, so yeah, so that's the other vest. The next thing I wanna show you is her car harness. I'm gonna do a whole entire episode about this, but I do wanna show you this. So this is the Sleepy Pods Click It Terrain. Um, so this is what she uses in the car. And then I have her rough wear, um, whatever this is called, the short, <laughs> The short one, short rope leash, um, and it has a locking carabiner. So I like to keep this on her in the car. This stays on this harness. I do not take this off of here. This stays on here in case there's a reason we have to get out of the car in a hurry because this is actually a harness as well. Like it's not just for the car. So if I had to get her out, I'll have to unhook the seatbelt. She's already on a leash and we can go. I really, really like this, and I'm gonna do a, a separate video review on this because um, I had a car harness that I didn't like before, and I just love this one. Um, this does have Velcro on both sides, so you could put a patch if you wanted to. It's honestly so thin in Velcro, though, that like, you know, you'd have to probably have a custom patch made. Um, and then this 
is something I actually made, which I don't know if the light's catching it or not, but it just says service dog in case of emergency, do not separate dog from handler, emergency info inside. And then on the back of it, I copied the back of one of those ABA cards and just blew it up really big. Um, so it's the same thing that's on the back of that, um, but it's just blown up really big. And I printed it out and put it on here. And then on the inside of here, I have my personal information as far as my emergency contacts, medical stuff that somebody would need to know about me, and um, also her information. So this stays on here. It just has um, a Velcro like thing that attaches it. And this is like for a badge or something. So like a, um, like a work badge, not like a, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Like a, a unnamed tag holder type thing. Oh, I have patches. Hold on, I have a couple patches too. <laughs> Um, and then I have a medical alert patch, which I don't really use, but I have it because I think it came with something. And then I have another one of these. Um, it's just the service dog, no touch, no talk, no eye contact patch, and it's just gray and white. Um, this is from a place, I think it's called Northern Safari on Amazon. I will link them below for you guys, but you can get customized patches from them. They're quite affordable. I think they're like $10 and it's free shipping because it's Amazon. Um, it is custom colors though. So you can pick your background color and your trim color um, from what they have. Obviously you can't just, the possibilities aren't completely endless, but you know, some options, but this is the other one I have. That's the same one. So um, it's been consistent. I mean, these are the only two patches I have from them, but they're consistent, so they're right. Um, they're, I don't have any complaints about either. They do have Velcro on the back. You can order it without Velcro if you're not a Velcro person, but I love these. You know, they're very just straightforward. They're plain. Obviously, they're not, they're not a patience and love patch, um, but they get there really quickly, and, you know, it's obviously, it's not a patience and love patch, but it is nice. I mean, it's nice for $10 and the fact that you can make custom colors really cool to me. I appreciate that. So I went to get my leash because I wanted to show you this. So this is just a um, crossbody leash and it looks like this. So this is from Amazon. I'll link the one I have below. It was super cheap. It was like $10 or something. Very inexpensive. Um, but then I have my patience and love, uh, stop, no talk, no touch, no eye contact leash wrap on here, which I absolutely love this thing. So yeah, I feel like people pay attention too. Um, whenever I got it, I wasn't sure if it would make a difference, but I really think it does. We haven't had as many people, uh, come up and, and try to talk to her. Um, but anyway, on that I have, or on this leash, because it has a lot of rings. So I have, this is the one that stays behind me. But on this, uh oh, on this, I just have the Alpha Dog Pack um, poop bag holder. Um, it's just kind of a pill shape, pretty, pretty plain looking. And then I have a Palsar Yucky Puppy bag on here. And then inside of that, I have a pack of Kleenex. So the Yucky Puppy bags are awesome. It's actually a wet bag for dogs. So you can put, if it's something wet in here, it won't like seep out. So if you, um, need to put like, you know, a, a used poop bag or like if you had a mess to clean up for whatever reason and something was wet, um, you put it in here. Um, we actually have used one of these for her dog park toys, which was just a ball, but I would put that ball in here just because that way it wouldn't get gross everywhere, but it's super nice. All right, so I think that's all of the things we had to show you today. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you being here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever we upload an episode, and hit the like button if you enjoyed this type of content. We will see you soon. Hope you have an awesome day. Bye guys.